Please note, information or speculation comes from social media or research. The idea is to inform viewers of any ongoings regarding PES 2020, whether factual or speculative. Hello everyone, my name is Cam and welcome back to another episode of PES News. Hope you're all doing okay and let's get into today's video. So yet again, we're back talking about the usual suspects of PES News, meaning Bayern, Juve and Manchester United. Today is July the 1st and it is the norm that new contracts get announced or deals that expire. If you actually go to the Juve, Man United and Bayern websites and go on to their official partners, EA Sports are no longer listed, which is again fueling more speculation of them coming to PES. Also, this image on screen was apparently leaked, but I will not confirm this leak as speculation can lead to fake images, but it is getting interesting. Moving on to this image on screen, yet again, I cannot confirm if it is entirely real, but what's apparently leaked is a timeline of announcements and events for PES 2020. First on the timeline is E3 announcement, which has already happened. Secondly, this image claims from the 1st of July to the 18th, we will get announcements of three major clubs and a new brand ambassador for the franchise. This is actually true because at E3 they said more partnered clubs will be coming to the game and also Messi will not be alone on the cover of PES 2020. And again, on July the 30th is the demo date with the kit editor that has also been confirmed on this timeline. Now what's interesting in this timeline is that it claims from the 21st to the 24th of August a new partnered team will be announced. And also a major UEFA announcement. I have actually checked the dates of the 21st and 24th. It is the official dates of Gamescom and also Gamescom is the place where they normally wrap up licenses and other details to do with the game just before it comes out. Now let's touch on the potential UEFA announcement. The picture you can see on screen is an image of the UEFA statement from last year when they announced they will not be continuing to use the Champions League in PES and that they will shift their focus into other areas, meaning that the license would go to FIFA eventually. If you look at the last part of the statement on the image on screen, they say that they will continue to explore alternative ways that UEFA and Konami can work together as their relationship does remain strong. So the first license that comes to mind other than the Champions League is the European Championships because it's only a year away and when you think about it, Euro 2016 was represented in PES 2016 so we could have the European Championships in PES 2020. But what about a different UEFA license within PES? What about the UEFA Nations League? Well, if you didn't know already, the UEFA Nations League is actually licensed in PES's mobile game, PES Card Collection. So maybe that license can expand into the console side of things, and maybe that could be the major announcement at Gamescom. So it is interesting so far. Also, the timeline says from the 26th to the 28th of August, Selected influencers will be invited to Tokyo to see my club for the first time. And lastly, the release of PES 2020, which is the 10th of September, and the Asia release of PES 2020 will be on the 12th of September. So what do you guys think about this leak timeline? There seems to be a lot of interesting dates and announcements, so let's see what's to come in the coming months. So thank you to everyone that has watched today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It does let me know that you do enjoy the Pez News content on the channel. Anyway, my name is Cam, and I will see you all in the next one.